get more hip hop official on your phone, text HHO to 44688. We all know that hip hop started in the east, it moved out west down south overseas but one region that's still waiting on its shine is the great white north canada now we caught up with a few hip-hop and canucks at 2007's south by southwest music conference and just vibed with them about the scene and breaking out we've been interviewing just a lot of cats out here and it all been from canada cadence weapon classified scratch bastard y'all are like really bringing it up there man canada's had a, a long history of a hip-hop scene there was a lot of acts that were very prominent in the 90s also that got signed to like the Canadian branches of, like, of the majors. Okay. But there's, there's been a whole shift I think in the last few years where you find like a lot more people coming out of the g regional scene. And one of those regional MCs is Edenfield's own Classified. The original from Canada, Halifax? Halifax, actually Enfield, which is a small town outside of Halifax, which is in Nova Scotia, okay. which is in the far east coast of Canada, for those who don't know. So. Right, right. Being from that, it is a, one, you're in Canada, and two, being from a small town, has it been harder for you to get, get material out there, just getting... Yeah, getting well, definitely for there? a small town, but just in the general, all of Canada, everyone's kind of in the same boat. You know what I mean? It's, 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 a, it's a different industry. It ain't like down here where there's, you know, artists making millions of dollars and, you know what I mean? building big corporations or whatever right, of a hip hop. Right. It's very still, st still underground and business wise still very underdeveloped. So it's, you know what I mean? It's a lot of trial and error and just trying to make things happen. I feel like in a way there's a really negative stigma against Canadian rap, like the idea of rap from Canada. Yeah. I know a lot of people from the States and like, well, why would I go and buy rap from Canada? Like, right. is that like, why would I not just buy my own? But no, I feel like, I feel like Canadian rappers, they have something interesting to say. Like, I, we, we live in a different place. We have different lifestyles, a different culture. And I feel like, always for me, the music I buy, I'm interested in different viewpoints than my own. So I listen to a lot of British rap, like grime, and I listen to a lot of American rap. And it's the same as like rappers from New York. They talk about New York just the same as anybody. Right. So like, why not talk about Edmonton if you're from Edmonton, the right? The Dirty South, now it's time for the Tidy North. Yeah. <laughs> Music and cultures will definitely collide again this year at the 2008 South by Southwest. Make sure you stay locked in with Hip Hop Officials starting March 19th for all our South by Southwest music conference coverage. To get more Hip Hop Official on your phone, text HHO to 44688.